So following on from the previous video, we've now got our first person shooter template set up all using the Unreal Engine source code from GitHub. The next job is to set up a bit of a folder structure and also to set up our GitHub repository so that we can add source control to the project. So looking at the folder structure that we currently have, we have a folder for project versus and in there we have all the Unreal source code. Um, we're just going to add some folder structure to this just because, you know, long term, you know, staying organized is super important. These projects get very complicated very quickly. Um, so having a nice folder structure from day one uh, always helps. So the first folder I'm going to create is one to actually hold the game itself. I'm going to call it game and we're going to move these files and folders into that game folder. With that one done, I'm going to do another folder, in fact, and we're going to call it Unreal. And again, we're going to pop in all of these files and folders. And lastly, we'll create one more folder here called Art. And this is basically going to store all of our source um, our assets that we end up importing into Unreal. I find it gives a good separation uh, between the sort of Unreal game that obviously imports these assets and the art assets themselves when they're being worked on. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is also create a couple of placeholder folders that won't be used in this video, but um, ultimately this structure will be for later videos. Infrastructure will hold provisioning code um, using Terraform, which we'll go into in a later video, and the CI folder will hold some sort of helper functions um, and some manifests for Kubernetes as we move forward with this project. But yeah, I'm just going to put those in place for now, just so that you can get an idea of the full structure as it stands. So we have versus the three folders, game, Unreal, and that's where our project now resides. Okay, so we generated this project using the FPS template. There's a couple of things, just a couple of tweaks that I want to do with the source folder. Um, so if we go into here and go to versus, you'll notice we have our C++ code in here. Um, I tend to like to split these up into public and private folders. So if we create a new folder called public and then another folder called private. Uh, we can then put in the header files into the public folder. And the CPP, all the C++ files <laughs> into the private folder. And then leaving the sort of main project uh, header file and C++ file in the root of this folder. So the other thing we're going to need to do once we've done that is going back to the Unreal folder. We can right click on the project and just generate Visual Studio files again. Just to make sure that, that they get up to date with the relevant paths and all the folder structure that we've just done. Okay, so now the folder structure is out of the way, it's time to set up the Git repository. To do this, we go to the root of our folder, uh, Unreal Guide slash versus, and we do git bash here. And the following command will initialize the repository. We just do git init, and it initializes us an empty git repository, which is all good to go. What I'm gonna do is open up this folder in Visual Studio, just so that we can start adding a couple of configuration files that are needed. So I'm going to open a local folder, Unreal Guide versus select folder and let that think about it for a little moment just while it opens it up. And then I will show all files just so that we can see everything. We can see a .git folder which is basically where git stores its history. Uh, and the first file we're going to need is a git ignore in the root. And what I'm going to do in here is just ignore .vs, which is basically Visual Studio settings. Um, because if I go back here, you can see a .vs folder has been created for us when we open this solution. And we don't want to include that into Git. There's no need. Um, for the actual Unreal configuration, we're going to set up something called LFS. So in game Unreal, I'm going to create a new file. And this one's going to be called .git attributes. And what this is going to do is going to hold a configuration that uses something called git large file storage. 
is configuration that tells uh, Git not to store certain file types that are big in size, like your model assets or maybe some huge images, um, potentially. Uh, don't store those in the main Git repo, but store them on the large file storage repository. Um, but they do end up sort of, you know, it ends up being as part of your repository as a whole, it knows about them. So when we go to the Unreal Guide folder, uh, I've created, a, I've, I've already created an example file. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy that and we can go through that. So in the game Unreal folder, I've created .git attributes, and this is the config uh, that I'm currently gonna use. And it basically tells that uasset, umap, fbx, 3ds, and all the others basically shouldn't be stored in the main repo, but they should be stored in large file storage instead. We're also gonna need a git ignore file within here. And I'm just gonna get the one I prepared earlier, uh, which I'll put in the description, a link to some of the example ones that exist on Git. There's a whole library of them that are available uh, and there's one for Unreal. And this basically has all the configuration you need to ultimately ignore stuff that's not required to be in the Git repository, such as builds and releases and things like that. Uh, so let me just make sure that they all sync up. So this should really be an obvious folder. And then I think we're basically ready to then create our first commit. So, oh, sorry, one last thing I'm gonna do actually in the CI folder is create a dot keep and another one in here dot keep this basically is just a placeholder file just so that it has something within these folders to keep the directory structure when uh, people actually clone the repository so now that, that now that's all done it's time to actually create the repository in github and push up our changes so in github um, I'm basically logged in with the account that I used to uh, clone down the Unreal uh, Engine source code in our previous video. So I'm going to hit create repository, put the repository name as Versus, and we'll just put this project VS. We'll make it private and we'll create the repository. It gives you a couple of helper commands which you can then use. So the first thing we're going to do is actually run git branch m main. Uh, and what that will do is rename the branch from main, uh, master to main and set that to be the default branch. Uh, this is just something that is now uh, sort of mainstream to uh, to do this uh, rather than using the term master for your for your default branch. Uh, Git remote uh, will basically set up the remote origin, i.e. the place where we're going to push our code to, which is going to be GitHub. So we'll add that in there. And then what we need to do is add our files. So if I do add git add dot and then do git status, it will now give you a long list of all the files that have been created and the folder structure. Um, but it should be nice and clean in the sense that it's taking into consideration those dot git ignore rules uh, and only committing what it needs to commit. Uh, you can typically tell something's wrong by if you do a git add dot and it's taking a little while, that typically would mean that maybe there's, maybe there's a file in there that's a bit too big or a binary that uh, potentially shouldn't be there. So what I'm going to do now is create a commit message. And we're going to call this initial commit. So now that's all good. If we do git log, we can see we've got our commit here. And now what we need to do is based on the command here is to use git push dash u origin main. So I'm just gonna paste in the push command into our terminal. And then basically you should see that pushing up to LFS uh, relevant objects that are configured in the dot git attributes file that we set up. And then the rest of the code such as the C++ files and the other ones uh, should then get pushed up to the main repo. And now that's done, we can refresh github.com and you should see everything set up. So in our CI folder, we've just got the git keep and that's what we kind of, the reason we added those files was for that reason, just so that we can keep that structure. And then within the Unreal folder, we can see that we've got our content folder, our source folder, uh, and our relevant files all configured. And that's basically it. 
that gets us set up with version control using git using lfs for large file storage to make sure that our repository is optimized um, as we move forward in the project uh, we've also added a, a folder structure that should hopefully uh, allow us to have uh, a bit more of a manageable solution as the as the project gets more complex so in the next video we're going to be creating a build target that allows you to create and compile your own dedicated unreal engine game server and then also being able to connect your game client to that server so we can start building out our multiplayer game so stay tuned for those videos that are coming up